All right, everybody, welcome to Minecraft Memes 2020, featuring Minecraft memes primarily from December 2019, because that's pretty much the last month of Minecraft memes. So let's start off with number 19. Everyone has done this at one point. This is a spawner. Yep, it's far from your base, and you will likely never see it again. Yep, so it's unlikely you will be able to make it into a grinder later. Makes sense to me. Then break it. You never know. I thought this was actually going to go the opposite way. I thought it was going to go, hey, this is a spawner. You're probably never going to run into it again. So why break it when you get that same amount of experience from just a couple of the monsters spawning from it? And then, if ever you need it, it'll be there. It's just like that old cardboard box you got from Amazon a few months ago. You never know if you're going to need to ship something. Or you might as well keep the packaging for what came inside it as well, because you never know if you're going to have to return it. Okay? Three months later, you might be beyond the return policy, but you never know. Just keep it. Science says, Science, teens need at least eight hours of sleep. High schoolers. I'll tell you, in high school, I got a decent amount of sleep every night. I mean, my mom was kind of strict about enforcing, hey, try to be in bed by like 10.30 or so. It faded away as I got further along in high school when it sort of became, I can go to bed whenever I want, but try to make good life decisions. And it's stuck with me ever since, okay? Let me encourage you, if you are in high school or college in the UK, as it's called, the equivalent, try to get your sleep. It's important. And then you'll establish a good life lesson so that you don't turn into the sleep schedule that the grand majority of streamers out there have. When I am told by people I know, oh yeah, usually I get up at like 2 p.m. I'm like, what? How? What? Why? Why do you do? Why do you do that? It's terrible. That's the worst thing I could ever think of doing. Exaggeration a little bit, but it's a terrible thing. Why would you want to do that to yourself, man? If I'm out of bed later than 8:30, I feel like I'm wasting the day away. The few days every now and again where I end up out after nine, oh, I just it wears on me mentally. I'm like, think of all the things I could have done. Anyway, this is my PSA to all of you who don't think it's important yet, it becomes important later. Take it from me, a boomer. Your sleep schedule is important. Okay, okay, not gonna lie, still do this. Nine-year-old me playing Minecraft, pretending to be recording a video. It's actually, it's completely not relatable to me. This is for the first time ever, not the first time ever, but one of the first times ever that a meme on this subreddit is not relatable because I was never nine years old playing Minecraft and since I started playing Minecraft, I've been making videos on it. So, there was never nine-year-old me pretending. There was only 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, soon to be 28-year-old me for realsies recording a Minecraft video. But that said, you should practice it because if you can practice your public speaking starting at a young age, then you'll be better off at age 18 when I started making YouTube videos than I was. Because if I go back and watch the early ones, it's trash. Don't be like me. Get ahead of the curve. I'd unalive him, but he'd come back. Totem of unaliving. Un- no. Un-unaliving. Oh, God. Infinity. He's too dangerous to be kept alive. Never thought of applying infinity to a totem. For some reason, I don't think it actually works that way. I'm pretty sure that the game has it coded. You can only apply that to a bow. But hey, you know, on the other side, you never know. You never know where Photoshop is going to come into play, except this looks like it's a camera, like, photo of the computer monitor, which really, that adds a whole other level of mystery here. Like, you have the means of doing this? You have this much power? And yet you had to take a screenshot with your phone pointed at your computer monitor? I'm getting mixed messages here. The man has too much power, though. That's for sure. Pepe is the meme of the decade. The last thing the first tree in my Minecraft world sees. Not just the first tree, but pretty much every tree after that, although I guess you might have an axe in your hand. Unless you're like me, where you don't like to start using the axe until, like, iron. It's like, how rarely do I go and make a stone axe? I've tried to make a point of it more recently, but I've been very, very stubborn. I'm like, eh, why bother? I got planks. I got sticks. I don't need to mine any more trees until I'm at, like, iron or so. And to be fair, you can get to iron pretty quickly. But I'm just like, nah. The only axe worthy of my time is iron. We'll worry about stone another day if I'm ever desperate. But I should make stone more often. I should learn to play Minecraft. It'd be good. I didn't know Pepe was the meme of the decade, but the more you know. Was this voted upon? I know Grande had a whole, like, 
meme of the decade thing, and I don't actually know which one. I'll have to look into that. Probably a repost. The sixth generation of my Minecraft accounts after reading them all from the same parents. I like how it's titled, probably a repost. Still gets upvoted anyway. And I do believe I've seen this one before. Gotta love the repost. Hey man, if you're just honest with everybody, then they're gonna look at it. You know, probably a repost. People are like, is it though? I better just check to make sure. Oh, I didn't see that one. All right, upvotes it is. Apparently 19 out of 20 people, according to 95% upvoted. They hadn't seen it before and they thought it was worth their time, so. Oh man, hey, at least, you know, this is why Minecraft texture packs by default aren't very high resolution. We don't want to give you the opportunity to see how this would actually pan out. But there is a part of me every single time that I start off a new farm in a new world, I'm a little uneasy by the fact that I've just taken those first two cows, breed them together, and then they are just, it just go, it, you know, the kids, the parents, it's just, it's just like a, a whole box of diagonals, and it's it's a little uncomfortable. Just try not to think about it. Not sure if this has been done before. Please don't hate if it has. It, probably repost, but do not be mad if repost. Okay, thank you. Red bed, red wool bed. Honestly, I don't know, man. I kind of miss the times when you could just throw white wool on the top and the planks on the bottom and you just you, you just get you know you just get a, a red bed that way kind of miss the old red bed i like the fact that you get some variety here but now now when i just put the white wool up there on top of the planks it's like this bland boring white bed but at the same time i'm like i don't have the energy to go and actually get colored wool just for a bed like i'm gonna have to find a village now and maybe they'll have a colored bed that i can just steal and i'll replace it with a white bed Sorry, villagers, you get the boring one, dude. No personality whatsoever. I'll give it to the unemployed green one that doesn't know how to get a job. So, it'll be fine. You won't notice the difference. He's colorblind anyway. Oof. Credited repost. Repost for days, but it's my son! It's Baby Yoda! I have to click on it anyway. When I come to the place I unalived and don't see any of my items. Baby Yoda is so cute. Oh my god, dude. Okay, so if you haven't seen The Mandalorian, Maybe just from the images of Baby Yoda alone, it doesn't do it for you. But when you see Baby Yoda in action, it is just the absolute cutest thing. And it's the only thing on the planet. It's not on this planet. It's on a, in a galaxy far, far away. Only thing in the universe that I might consider parenting. I might envy Mando slightly. And this has nothing at all to do with not finding my items when I go back to my unalive point. But Baby Yoda is my child, all right? Just so we're all aware of this, stop telling me that you're gonna eat Baby Yoda. You wouldn't dare. Baby Yoda would also yeet you before you can eat him, all right? Get yeeten before eaten. That's what we're talking about. Relatable. Me, mine's 30 blocks in Minecraft. My golden pickaxe, I've decided that I want to unalive. Yeah, I don't make golden pickaxes or golden tools for the most part for that reason. Because it just, it's, man, I remember how stoked I was the first time I ever was made aware of the fact that gold pickaxes go super fast. I was like, this is amazing. Why would anyone bother to make a diamond pickaxe? And then I used it. And then I was like, this is why people would bother to make a diamond pickaxe. You get that initial excitement and then you're like, oh, that was short lived. Cool. Well, gold isn't nearly prominent enough and I want to use it for gapples and other things and not just constantly making pickaxes that, that destroy themselves after I get two feet away from myself. All right, not super useful now. I just, I wish that there was a useful way to do more with gold, because gold is such a valuable resource in, in society in general. But here we are, just all we can do is gapples with it. Not that there's anything bad about gapples, they're pretty sweet. But I just, come on, man, true. How much skeletons be carrying? How much skeletons drop? <laughs> it's so true, dude. God. Well, it's not fair. Why isn't it every skeleton drops an infinity bow? Like, where? Are they just synthesizing these via some chemical reaction? Every time they fire off an arrow, there's some, like, the moon shines rays down upon them, and they're able to freaking photosynthesis an arrow, except they can do it when they're underground, too. How do they do this? Do they, are they able to absorb the nutrients through their feet from the ground? Do they just... And then it just creates arrows? Like, what the heck, dude? 
How do you do this? Teach me, please, because I don't want to have to work for Infinity every time. Saw that someone... So wait, saw that somewhere. Nostalgic, really. How I started the decade. How I ended the decade. Oh, DAE, remember? The original Minecraft launcher? That is, dude, with the old logo and everything. Man, oh man, Minecraft 1.5.1. That was still after the official release, so this was probably, what, like 2012? Uh, probably 2012 then, right? Because Minecon was end of 2011, and 1.5 wouldn't have been until a little while longer. So, yeah, 2012, probably? Dude, that's crazy. I was probably, like, full-time making YouTube videos when this launcher top screen was displaying. Playing it. That's how old I am. Please don't sit here and tell me, yeah, I'll, I'll, at that time I was like eight years old <laughs> and and I've been watch. I was eight and now I'm graduating college. I've been watching you that long and I'm like, ah, this is every message that I get on Twitch when somebody resubs. I was two years old when I started watching and now I'm older than you. And I'm like, I don't know how that works. Right, time dilation or something, but here we are. Beautiful these chests repost judgmental turkey. The hard drive, the flash drive, the cloud storage. It's a good one though, dude. It's clever. You can take hard drives with you though, dude. There's external hard drives and stuff. So I don't know, man. I think that the shulker box also works as a flash drive or, or as a hard drive. Even the flash drive is like slightly more portable, but you can fit so much into a shulker box. That it's kind of like it is like a hard drive because I guess you can double this, but if we're talking single chest, right? Then it's the same storage as a shulker box and it's just portable. So, so you get the best of both worlds. Why even use chests anymore if you're just going to go single? Double, I get, but otherwise, dude, I like the cloud storage though. Cloud storage is my favorite. Get my items anywhere as long as I can make a new one. Store my stuff when I've just gone 20,000 blocks out in the end and just eat myself off the edge and we're good as long as I don't care about the experience. Yes, please, I like it. Hopefully they will be better. The new Pokemon Sword and Shield remake looks great. Hey man, I'm sure it's coming to Pixelmon at some point. They've added, what, like 600 Pokemon to Pixelmon or something absolutely insane? So Sword and Shield probably coming down the pike. I don't know, I haven't actually talked to any of the Pixelmon people, so don't like take my word for it, but seems to happen bro and then it'll be legit dude i wish that wolves could actually i don't know be a little bit more ro robust can you imagine being able to put armor on a wolf you put a shield on a wolf the wolf could like dude imagine if you unalived and the wolf was still there it was able to retrieve your stuff and it would come back to you or you could pick an item that's like really valuable it's very useful in order to get back to your stuff should you unalive and he'll like fetch it and bring it to you That'd be amazing. Like he'll fetch your pickaxe and then you respawn and it teleports back to you. It's got your pickaxe in your mouth. And you're like, my hero, my my child. You're not Baby Yoda, but you're my child in this situation. <laughs> I do want to see a wolf just walking around with its head stuck in a shield. Breathtaking. Cobwebs IRL. Cobwebs in Terraria. Oh, it's been so long since I played Terraria. I don't even remember. Cobwebs in Minecraft. I, I, like... There has never been a situation, even in like a fantasy movie, where cobwebs have been so bad that you're just stuck and you can't do anything except, except if you have a sword, you can just do this and then they poof. Unless you're playing an adventure map, a parkour map, perhaps where you're in adventure mode and they put cobwebs down and you fall into them and you can't do anything about it. Although if you're in the cobweb and you're trying to swing at it with your sword, then it just takes a long time because you're floating in the air and it's... It's weird to me that if you're not like on solid ground, it takes longer, but I guess you have more leverage if you're in the ground. But you're in Minecraft, dude. I can carry like 50 million pounds of cobblestone, and yet for some reason, when my feet are off the ground, I can't break a block as quickly, okay? Logic. Relatable. Chips at the top of the bag. Chips at the bottom of the bag. <laughs> I actually went through a little period of time in elementary school where I somehow convinced myself that actually like crushing up chips from the bag and then pouring out a powder it was like a better way to eat chips because it almost like it concentrated the flavor more because when you put it in your mouth immediately it's exposed to a higher surface area of chips so it makes sense but also like was i a psychopath for pre-crushing up chips and then pouring up the powder i'd be like ah oh, this is how we eat them dude the flavor is so powerful 
because I pre-crushed them. Oh man, the surface area, except I didn't know what surface area or why that was the case back then. I was just like, for some reason when I crush them up, wow, it really gives me flavor and I love flavor. Who cares about the whole it being a chip that I bite down on and that's part of the experience. Nah, dude, just give me that chip powder. Mmm, I love it. The sequel to my previous post. Ocean monuments, woodland mansions, jungle pyramids, desert wells. What, you have something against jungle pyramids? Because the jungle pyramids really look like the odd one out here. I guess, to be fair, they are a lot smaller and quicker to explore, and you don't really need to do the lever puzzle, you can just break through the wall. That's what I always found funny, is like my brain enters this adventure map mode when I go into like a jungle temple, and then I like realize 10 seconds later, I'm like, why am I doing the lever thing? I've done it before. Why don't I just break it through? But then there's a part of me that feels badly for doing it. I'm like, I should have played the game. They made this for me. Why did I break it? I should have played it how it was supposed to be. No, I'm just gonna break it, dude. You can't be bothered. I'll just break the redstone and trip wire on the ground too, cause we ain't, screw it, dude. We ain't in adventure mode here. If I wanted to be in adventure mode, I'd go on an adventure map. All right, I'm gonna break things in survival. Just, you stop it. Stop trying to make quests for me when I can just work around them. Desert wells, on the other hand, are just like, uh... Now, I remember when those were introduced a long time ago. When was it? Like, 1.8? 9? Or, so, yeah, was it like 1.9-ish or something? And I thought they were gonna lead to something more interesting. And then, and then I was like, oh, that's that's all there is. Alright. They're just, they're just kind of there. It's a source of sandstone, because there's not a lot of that in the desert, so... Alright, it's just kind of a thing. Maybe at some point, they'll just secretly roll out, like, that's the entrance to some gigantic underground desert dungeon. Do it, guys. Just smile and wave. Minecraft spiders during the day. Just smile and wave, boys. Just smile and wave. You're missing the invisible one. Because I didn't even know that was a freaking thing until recently. How did I go so many years? How did I go? Like nine plus years never realizing that they can spawn with invisibility. How many hundreds or thousands of hours have I been on this game never to have an invisible spider spawn? It's wild. It's crazy. But you could just you could just see a floating set of eyes over there. You just you never know, dude. I've always wondered though, why do spiders get so angry at night? Why are they peaceful during the day? And at night they're like, nah, we ain't having this, dude. Guys, come on, this doesn't make sense. Can we just work something out here? You know how to be happy and neutral, but then you go all mean. Why? Our Minecraft, in a nutshell. Four up boats. Add shaders. 3,200! I mean, at this point, dude, it's it's more like 30,000 when it comes to our Minecraft top posts. It's crazy the amount of upvotes these things get. I mean, can you blame them on the shaders, though? They look pretty. Shaders make everything look so nice. It's weird now. I've, I've been using shaders now for like the past six months, a year, however long it's been. When before that I wasn't using them super regularly. And now when I play a world and there's no shaders, I'm like, I want this to be prettier. Where Where's my RTX on? And then I go back to the Optifine shader instance for server stuff. And I'm like, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That's the Drake. Drake meme bottom frame right there, pointing at it, smiling. That's that's what I'm talking about, dude. Anyway, it is it is funny though. Sometimes there's definitely some karma conspiracy things you can spot for sure, but that's on any subreddit, really. Anyway, moral of the story here: shader is pretty nice. All right, that's pretty much it for um, 2020 Minecraft memes that are actually from December 2019. It could be the title of the video: Minecraft memes in 2020, but. Actually, they're from 2019. Probably not gonna be, but that's it. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like if you like. Check out the playlist in the description if you want to catch more Minecraft memes. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already. And that's it. I'll see you next time.